on, and this is going to be my starter button. <laughs> yes! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind, and today we're back with the Black Bomber CB450 KO. See, it still has a big hole right there, but we've got the solution right here in this box. So guys, if you remember, we had uh, a bad engine. We found an alternative solution and it's right here in this box. For cheaper, complete, and uh, basically plug and play. This could be a divisive thing. The purists aren't gonna like it. But it's not my motorcycle. It's a friend of mine's and we're spending his money. The plans for this CB450KO is not to be uh, not to be a garage queen. He wants to ride it. He wants to put it on the road. He wants to go out and ride it. So we thought the best solution for the, the most affordable solution, short term, to be able to get on and ride it, would be to find a CB slash CL 450 uh, from a later model. So by doing that, the engines are identical from the outside. The only difference is that on the inside, there's a five-speed transmission in this box versus the four speed that was in in the original the other thing the only way you can tell the difference from this engine from the outside to another to the original one is if you read the engine number that's it we're keeping the old engine he's going to look to find the piece to collect the pieces and parts over time and rebuild it so that we can then transplant it back into here but short term to be able to get this guy going and get it up and running so he can get it on the road this is the path of least resistance in all aspects. So it's going to be the most affordable. It's going to be the quickest. It's going to be the most efficient. So we're going to have to prep this guy to be able to receive this guy. So now that everything's out, we're going to roll it out, pressure wash all of this on the inside just to get all of this out from down in here, make it nice and clean. And then while that's drying, we're going to unbox this engine. So let's go ahead and get started. Guys, I want to jump in here real quick to let you know that we've changed our posting schedule. We are now posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 12 p.m. Central Time. That's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 12 p.m. Central Time. So go ahead and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks again, guys. Back to the video. using a little foamy engine cleaner. We're gonna pull this tank off too in just a second. Okay, let's spray it down again and let this guy soak a bit, get everything, and then we're gonna pressure wash it again. That should be good. We'll let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, while the frame's out there soaking, let's see if we can get this guy open. This guy has been sitting here waiting on me to, to open it. And I didn't do it on purpose because I knew the moment I'd open it, I couldn't help myself. So uh, we got this from an eBay reseller, Heartland ATV Salvage. Uh, I think they're based in Nebraska, somewhere like that. But the guy was super, answered all my questions. He was super friendly. He was super helpful did a compression test for me, sent me pictures of it. He was really great and, and worked with me on the price. So if you guys need anything, Heartland ATV Salvage on eBay, I'll put all the links in the description below. Let's get this guy out of here. And what's the easiest way to do this? Let me get out some of this. I think the easiest, I think the easiest way is gonna be to stand it on thin and then just walk it out onto 
this and I think we'll really go out this way. Yep. That came complete even with shift lever. I mean the kickstart lever. Boots. Everything was there. Spark plugs. I mean it's it's got every everything. It is fairly complete. The package was 145 pounds. I don't believe the engine weighs 145 pounds, but I know it's got all it's all there, so. Let's see what we can do. Now this is gonna cause a muss. Here we go. We got it. We got it. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. You don't have to give me a hand. I squared up on this cart. It's only sore back in the morning. Let's take a look around. This is the first time I'm looking at it, but it has starter cable, solenoid on it. It's not too bad. We do have a couple of damaged fins, but we may do what we can to try to straighten them up or we may not do anything with it. It's pretty clean. And it came with a free tote. Gotta love it. Winning. Okay, let's go rinse off the um, frame, roll it inside, then we can roll this guy out and clean it. Because it does look like it's going to rain. Yeah, it does look rainish. But let's be honest, that's kind of the way it looks all the time in Louisiana. Okay, we got it rinsed off. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the this back wheel with this rust dissolver to spray. I kind of like it, so tends to work pretty good. It'll eat away some of this rust. Okay, I got stuck in the rain. Let me put these on so I can actually see you. But frame does look better when you look at it. And look, this was a quick pass. I stopped because it was raining, but this was a quick pass on these wheels. And I think if I spend a little bit more time, if I get out the brass brush, I'll be able to clean it. It started raining harder, so I just rinsed it off. Even here, our chrome back here looks better. Again, it needs to be polished, but we are light years better than what it was before. And so we hadn't even done anything to this front one. So this front one will clean up. If the back one cleaned up that, that good, this front one should clean up equally as good. So we didn't take the engine outside. Maybe I'll just get some, because it's raining now. Maybe I'll just get some spray and just wipe it up, which is what I'll probably do. Wipe up everything and then get to work on it. Let's just check. See, do we have oil in this thing? No, it may be. He may have drained it all out to ship it, which would have been the logical thing to do. So we'll put some oil in it. I think we're going to go ahead and scope the cylinders while we're here, since I have the spark plugs off. And I was thinking, we scope the cylinders, we put a little oil in it, and uh, then we hook up the jump box to the starter and see what kind of compression we have. But let's clean it off first, scope it, oil, and then go from there. Let's go into this cylinder right here. Keep an eye right there. Yep. Looks to be the top of the piston. Yeah. Not too bad. Can't really see anything since so it's all the way at the top. So let's look at the other one. Is there a valve? No, nope. everything's closed. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go look at the other one. Okay, here we are going in to this one. Oh yeah, look, this looks good. Looking at the top of the piston there, it's probably, it's gonna have some carbon. It should have some carbon. 
but the cylinder walls look good. The other one looked good too, so yeah. Look. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Let's do a quick compression test. Okay, so by a uh, quick compression test, what I mean is I'm gonna hook the jump box up to the starter, turn it on, stick my thumb over the hole, see what happens. So we got this one. That sounds pretty good. And then let's check this one. Thumb over the hole. Guys, that sounds pretty good. That sounds way better than most of the stuff I drag here and it had a really good uh, solid compression so on the thumb meter it was a uh, it was enough okay not much left to do right now but to clean up my mess and quit procrastinating and put this guy in the frame okay i'm gonna go ahead and take off this starter cable just because there's one already on the frame there's only one way i know how to do this and it's uh to caveman it so Ugh, must live heavy things. So let me go ahead and just lift it up here. Put it right there. Okay, let me see if I can just lift it up just a little. It doesn't need much, it just needs a little. Just a little finesse. Because uh, cause I'm dripping. Dripping in finesse. Dripping in finesse. Yep. That's in. Good deal. Okay, so let's start putting the mounts on. I've got this mount. Goes on the top. I was digging around trying to find the, the lower mount for down here. And it's still on the engine stand let me get the top two in i'm gonna have to jack the engine up to to get it through i think i got it right here i'm close oh there we go come on almost there there we go there we go oh yeah that's it okay just tightening up this back mount which has the toolbox on it. Let me just get this guy. Uh, bottom one right here, which should be a 17, correct? 17, and we get on this one. Give this sucker the old reach around. Let's see, come on. There we go. There we go. That's that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and soak these in the bucket of vapor rust and see if we can clean these up a little bit. Let's let them soak. Okay, we now have the everything plugged in. What I had to do was take the stator that was in this engine and replace it with the stator that was in the original engine because my uh, plugs didn't match up. So I just said, let me just replace it. So I just replaced it. Now we've got a battery hooked up. We're gonna, I've got the spark plugs out. We're gonna pull this cover off and check to see if we have power going wherever we get it. Okay, getting this guy off. So we can check out our points. Oh, it's super clean in there. Look at this. It's super clean in there. So we're gonna see, we're gonna turn that key and see if we get any juice right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take the test light and then just ground it. I'm just gonna ground it over here on this engine mount. I'm gonna do it right here on this lower one actually. Although it shouldn't matter because we're good. And just test it. Yeah, I got power going to my light at my positive. So let's turn the key on. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get anything. That's the horn button. 
is trying this switch is probably dirty let's see if we get any lights oh we get some light in there see it oh, on get some light in the headlight not working we'll check it and then let's check it's got an extra switch down here extra position so off on headlight park so on oh got a little ticking looks like we might need a solenoid okay so let's turn the key on and let's see if we have any power to here oh look at that look at that so this point is closed so when we open it we get power this one is already open Ooh, hoo, hoo. yes i like it we got power power now let's see if it's making its way all the way down here let's see these things i don't know if these plugs are any good but we're going to give them a shot let's see if we can get that one right there that's good enough and then i'm just going to jump across let's see if we get anything here come on oh hoo, hoo. did you see it let me move my hand out of the way. Here, I'll put you up here. Oh yeah. They got all the sparks right in there. Yeah, fireworks. Oh, Katy Perry. Baby, you're a <sighs> so, let's try the other one. Oh yeah, watch this. Oh, you see it? All I'm doing is opening and closing the point, and we buy work. Look at that. That's good spark. This sucker's gonna run. Okay, let me go ahead and put these spark plugs back in. I got two options. I could go ahead and put the the carburetors on, and then try to see if it makes some noise, or I just squirt some juice in there, see if it makes some noise. I think I may go after the ladder. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst thing happen? I gotta put the spark plug, the carburetors on. So I got a little starting fluid. Just a little. There's just a little. This should be enough. On, and this is gonna be my starter button. <laughs> yes! I don't know about you guys, but that's a runner. That, that just made lots of noise with just, oh, that's awesome. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, let's squirt some more. Oh, that's just so awesome. That should be enough. Let's see. <laughs> yes. First off, that's super awesome. And let's be 100% clear. This engine I got, I did not even clean these. I haven't even cleaned these points yet, right? These coils are probably the original coils. Same thing with the condenser. I had to, the wires were cut, so I had to make this little uh, jumper wire that goes one in, uh, from the points to two into where that goes. But original equipment. So many times we think we need to rush out and buy parts. We don't, we just need to put it together. This thing fired up. Guys, this is so, this is so good. I'm gonna put this uh, carburetor on it and it should run. Okay, just a little heat gun on these boots. Okay, now we're putting this one on. We already got the other one on. I'm just gonna hit it with a little silicone spray. Make sure you get your choke on. Oh, nice. And now let's tighten them down. Make sure my choke functions. Yes, good deal. Okay, so we have our carburetors on, fuel source on, this on. Let's see what happens. Choke or no choke? Let's go choke. Let's go choke. Oh, almost. Let's go choke 
across. Choke, let's try a little choke. Ah, it's running. Good look, see. Let me give you a good look in here. It's not too bad. These side covers cleaned up. I mean, they're not perfect by all means, but they're light years better than where they were before. You can see both sides. It just took some of the years off of it. Still rusty, but this is a rider. I actually like it kind of lived in. There are some things that we have to do. I'll kind of give you the, we'll start from the, from the front and work our way through. Obviously we need tires on uh, front and rear. We need this clutch perch, which I think I have one located and a lever so we can operate our clutch. We need a throttle cable. Although this turns, it doesn't do anything. We're going to wait through seat. We need the right side muffler. That is pretty much it for right now. Just to be able to see kind of that would make it a rider. And then you can do the rest to figure out what else we need to make it look better and make it run better. Oh, and a chain. Guys, I'm pretty excited with our progress with where we are now with the CB450 KO Black Bomber. From where we were, no engine to engine in and it runs quote unquote needs we need to go through once we get it all back together carbs on throttle cable and then do a full tune-up we'll go through set everything check the points check the valves uh cam chain all of that stuff do everything it's got fresh oil in it but i want to run it enough so that we get some all that stuff down then we'll dump that oil uh clean it up a little bit more especially this front wheel i think we can clean up this front wheel pretty good and then we're get a seat chain and we're riding this sucker I can't wait i'm super excited let me know down below what do you think should should it be restored or are you okay with it being a survivor rider let me know let me know your thoughts Guys, I want to thank you for watching another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.